That he was part of a group that was super resilient. We got down 20, and he helped lead the charge to get us back in the game. And we didn't hang our heads, and we continued to fight. We got the lead back and then made it a tough fourth quarter game. So his, just being part of that group, the whole team that led us back from a, you know being down a pretty big number. Yeah, we struggled in the first half. I thought, you know, 68, uh, what was it? Yeah, I think 68 or 69, right? Um, ball was getting in the paint too easy. We weren't protecting the drive. I thought in the third quarter, that's how we got the lead. We started being a little more tight, um, a little more connected as a group. Um, but they were putting pressure on our rim the whole night. But I liked our fight in the second half. Taking the shot, the right shots, what the offense gave him. Obviously, we put the ball in his hands and he was attacking. But then when he was open from three, um, he let it go. So, like, it's just he read the game well. And we put him in positions to take advantage of his quickness and his athleticism to the rim. But then when the ball was kicked to him, he shot when he was open. And it was really a team effort tonight. I think that was uh, maybe a franchise record for threes we set tonight. So we, we really shared the ball, 35 assists. Um, so we're seeing some growth, what, what we're doing offensively. Um, we got a couple coming out of timeouts where we didn't get exactly where we wanted, but we did struggle with turnovers in the first half. Um, thought we did a little better in the second, but yeah, but some of those caught us was late. Um, we'll start lear learning and growing as a group, fourth quarter execution was good, but it can be better. Yeah, I think that's something we talked about uh, pregame. We talked about that. Um, Denny's rebounding triggers his offense. So it's, for us, if we're a defense first group, and when we rebound, and specifically when he rebounds, he has the ability to a push that can lead for shots for himself, but also can really lead for shots from others. So that's a big part of our attack. He's shown that he's capable of doing that, and we're going to continue to ask him to do that. What changed um, right before halftime for you guys tonight? Jordan Poole bank three. Um, no, it was just like, I feel what we like picked it up a little bit, uh, especially defensively. Uh, we shared the ball offensively, we shot good shots. We were down 20, I think. Um, and then we cut the lead, we came to halftime, uh, pretty close game. And then from there, we just had a momentum. We saw we were capable of like competing and keeping this game alive. And that's what we did until the last moment. Benny, does it feel like something's changed for you since early February? You've obviously had a big game tonight, but you've been playing well since like, for like six games now. Um, I don't know if something really changed. I feel like I'm just more confident. I think I'm more confident. Um, I'm working hard. I'm patient. Um, you know, it's been it's been a long four years for me, like ups and downs. And I'm sure I'm still gonna have some downs, like every other basketball player. Uh, but seeing my growth and uh, my teammates been like been here with me, like with all this process, it's been great. They're pushing me. They're looking for me. And uh, without them, honestly, like, without their push, like, honestly, I couldn't be in, in, the, in that of a good stretch like, I'm, like I am. Where does the increased confidence come from? Sticking with it. I feel like I'm, I know my spots now. I'm confident on my shot. I worked, I worked hard this summer. Um, I'm in a good mood. Um, you know, obviously, the franchise believed in me. They signed me for another four years, so that was big time for me too. And um, yeah, I'm just playing free. I'm just playing to compete. I'm playing to win. Like I'm not really overthinking too much. How much of your um, offensive success came from your rebounding team? Big kind of boards. I think a lot of my offense comes from like me competing on defense and making stops and and and, and get, getting the rebounds and that's how that's how I get in the game. That's my bread and butter, and uh, it's always gonna be there regardless of the offense. And I feel like that's what gets me going a lot of games. It's like, like getting through the defense, knowing the personnel, like 
be there for my teammates and like making big plays for for the team to be able to compete. What does what does it feel like to have a night like the night you had tonight? I know you want to win. That's more important. I get it. But to be locked in the way you are. It's uh it's a little emotional. Like I think it's uh I never thought that like coming to the league, seeing all those numbers, those big players score those those points, like being able to um being able to be that hot and like like all the hard work, like the the times that I was like down or I didn't have good games and I was down on myself a lot of times and I stick with it. Um I kept I kept working hard, I I kept being patient. Like it, 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 I went through a lot, and I, for me, it's it's only to start. I feel like I'm still getting better. I'm still gonna be smarter, uh, especially especially in crunch time. I'm, I'm still not satisfied with how I'm how I'm playing in crunch time. I still think I can take better shots and, and, and move the ball better. But honestly, like hard work and patience do do pay off. So, how often do you tell yourself you're only 22? Right, have you turned 23? I mean, yeah, yeah. Right, I beg your pardon. So you're, st you're still young as heck. You know, 23 years old is very, very young in this game. It's young in life, but in this game, you grow up fast. Like, I feel like four years in the league really matures you. Um, but, yeah, I'm still young, and, and that's why I'm so excited. It's like I still have a lot to grow. I still have a lot to work on. I'm not stopping here. Like, yeah, I had a great game tonight, but... This is still a long season, and I'm hof hopefully you have a long career, and uh, hopefully it's only the start. You know? The energy, um, the energy is, is different um, right now for us in a in a great positive way. Um, we're we're together more than we have been all year. Um, everyone's you know continuing to be on the same page, uh, and so we're just building. We're moving in the right direction. Um, we still got a ways to go, but um, I think the resiliency is some thing that you can take away from it as okay they are more together the energy is right um, and they're heading in the right direction guys what did you see right before that 11 point run heading into halftime with uh, Brian making two pretty big stops through yeah got stops um was able to get out of transition um and just just make make the defense pay they were uh you know kind of cross matched a little bit in transition so we were able to get some good looks um kick aheads were there um sharing the ball you know we were sharing the ball extremely well tonight so but it started with the stops um we weren't able to get too many stops early on in the first half um led to us being down big but we stuck with it kept fighting um and so yeah that kind of changed the game for us right there right before halftime um and we needed that there, there were no adjustments to the defense that you guys just kept kind of just, just, just stuck with it. Just stuck with it. What do you think about Denny tonight? Big time. Big time. Um, he's been playing, playing his tail off the last, I don't even know how long now, but he's he's been hooping. Um, getting, you know, the game, I think it's slowing down for him. Um, he's starting to see his spots, starting to understand kind of what defenses are doing a little bit more. Um, I know we're, we, you know, changed up a, a little bit of what we're, you know, trying to do offensively when Brian took over. Um, but at the same time, he's handled that well. Um, he's playing extremely with a lot of confidence. He was shooting his shots with confidence, no hesitation, making his moves, making some reads, great passes. Like the game's just slowing down for him, and that's what we that's what we need out of him. Um, and so, looking forward to um, continue to see him grow. For a young player like him, how could this stretch of recent games? Springboard. Yeah, it's great. It's great, and it's, it's big for his confidence. Um, you know, there's nothing better than you know, ex you know, there's nothing, no way to get better than experience. So, to get out there, you know, live reps, playing, and see, you know, seeing it pay off and seeing it work, um, that's huge for your confidence level. Um, and we're going to continue to put him in positions to, uh, you know, try to succeed, to to create, to play make, um, and he's going to continue to get better.